video, we will explore two concepts in organic chemistry relating structure and formula, namely homologous series and isomers. Playing with shapes can teach us a lot about these two concepts. Very simply, homologous series are families of organic compounds in which the molecules have the same general formula and similar structures, but their lengths give them different molecular formulas. Very simply, isomers are organic compounds with the same molecular formula, but different structures. Let's investigate each of these two concepts in more depth, starting with homologous series. Using the molecules in the table as an example, we can see that a homologous series is a group or sequence of compounds with the same functional groups, in this case none, since the molecules are all fully saturated hydrocarbons, and thus similar chemical properties, and the same general formula, but different chain lengths, and thus different molecular formulas. Each successive compound in a homologous series differs by a CH2 unit. The examples in this table, which are methane, ethane, propane and butane, form part of a homologous series of alkanes. The alkenes, alkynes and alcohols are other examples of homologous series. Although compounds in a homologous series have similar chemical reactivities, they usually show trends in physical properties such as melting point, boiling point, and solubility. For example, in the carboxylic acid homologous series and many other homologous series, with increasing carbon chain length, so there is increasing melting point, increasing boiling point, and decreasing solubility in water. Now let's turn our attention to isomers. The atoms and bonds in an organic compound can be arranged in different ways. The resulting compounds have the same molecular formula. In this example, all three compounds have the molecular formula C5H12, but they have different bonding patterns. So these are different compounds with different properties. These compounds are called isomers. If isomers have different arrangements of carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds, in other words, different hydrocarbon backbones, they are called chain isomers. These three compounds are chain isomers since they can be produced by changing the size and positions of side chains. If two isomers contain the same functional groups in different positions, they are positional isomers. For example, butan-2-ol is a positional isomer of butan-1-ol. Here's another example. Pent-1-ene and pent-2-ene are positional isomers of each other. If two isomers contain different functional groups, they are functional group isomers. Functional group isomers must have the same number of multiple bonds so only certain pairs of functional groups can be related in this way. Ethers may be isomers of alcohols. Ketones may be isomers of aldehydes. And esters may be isomers of carboxylic acids. To fully understand related isomers, we need to understand the arrangement of carbon-carbon bonds in a compound. A carbon atom can be described using the terms primary, secondary and tertiary. Using alcohols as an example, if a hydroxyl group is attached to a primary carbon atom, that is a carbon atom bonded to only one other carbon atom, the compound is a primary alcohol. Butan-1-ol is a primary alcohol. Similarly, a secondary alcohol contains a hydroxyl group attached to a secondary carbon atom. A secondary carbon atom 
is bonded to two other carbon atoms. Butan-2-ol is a secondary alcohol. A hydroxyl group on a tertiary carbon, that is, a carbon atom bonded to three other carbon atoms, gives a tertiary alcohol. 2-methylpropan-2-ol is a tertiary alcohol. These compounds are isomers since they have the same molecular formulas. The same descriptors can be used for halogenoalkanes. For example, chloropropane is a primary chloroalkane, while 2-chloropropane is a secondary chloroalkane. These compounds are isomers. In this case, there is no corresponding tertiary isomer. Amines are described slightly differently. In these compounds, the labels primary, secondary and tertiary indicate the number of carbon atoms bonded to the nitrogen atom. For example, this compound is a primary amine. This is a secondary amine. And this is a tertiary amine. Now let's summarize the main points. A homologous series is a series of compounds with the same functional group and thus similar chemical properties, the same general formula, but where each successive compound in the series differs by a CH2 unit. Compounds in a homologous series display trends in physical properties according to carbon chain length. Isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula, but a different arrangement of atoms. Chain isomers have different hydrocarbon backbones. Positional isomers have the same functional group, but in a different position. And functional group isomers have different functional groups. Finally, in a compound, a primary carbon is bonded to one other carbon atom a secondary carbon to two other carbon atoms, and a tertiary carbon to three other carbon atoms.